So Ari, today we're going to discuss um, countries. Mm -hmm. I want you to close your eyes now. Okay, now, if you can go anywhere in the world that you want, mm -hmm. what country do you imagine that you want to go to? Uh, I imagine to go to New Zealand. Okay, so today Ari, you can open your eyes now. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to visit New Zealand. Okay. Okay. So this is the map of New Zealand. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, New Zealand, it has a shape like Boot Island. Mm -hmm. When you turn it upside down like this, it looks yeah. like a boot. Okay. So New Zealand has two big islands, the North Islands yeah. and also the South, South Islands. islands. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. okay. And do you know what this is? It's Australia. It's like flag. This is the flag of New Zealand. Mm -hmm. So in the New Zealand flag, we can see the Union Jack because New Zealand is a colony from the from British. So that's why they have the Union Jack in their flag. And do you see how many stars there are here? They have four. Yes. This stars uh, makes a certain constellation, the constellation of Eris, and it's one of the constellations that can be seen from New Zealand. This is the kind of money that is used in New Zealand. These are the paper money. This is the front part of the money and this is the back part of the money. So you can see there's a few famous people. You can see Queen Elizabeth here. Uh, and on the back side, you can see the birds that are native to New Zealand. And here, what do we have here? Coins. These are coins. Yes, this is the coins of New Zealand. And you can see on the front side, they all have Queen Elizabeth at the back, uh, on the front. And on the back side, you have a kiwi bird, um, the ships the Pauna and um, their Maori uh, wooden carvings and some of them are stones. Oh and okay and the first people that live in New Zealand they're called Maori people. So this is what the traditional costume of the Maori people. These are some wood carvings that they have made. This one is called a Teko Teko. This, this one is also a Teko Teko but we can we, they usually put they big ones them. on rooftops. It protects the houses. And uh, this is a tiki tiki. And when it's carved on a green stone, it's called a pauna. So Maori people have long boats, traditional long boats. And they have tattoos, which is very, very, very uh, significant, very important for the Maori people. Women usually have their tattoos on their lips and on their chins and men have them on their buttocks, on their thighs and on their cheeks. But nowadays, Maori tattoos, you can see them placed in any part of the body. Okay. New Zealand is also famous for their uh, seafood. There's the oyster, the green lip mussels, white bait and scallop. They're also known for their desserts. It's called a pavlova. Do you know what pavlova is? Yeah, it's a dessert. Yeah. It's bread with Um, It's fruit. not bread, it's, it's a meringue. The yeah. lower part is a meringue. It's covered with whipped cream and usually there's fresh fruit on top. Mm -hmm. uh, New Zealand is also famous for their honey. It's a special kind of honey. It's called the manuka honey and this tree is only found in New Zealand. That's why this honey only comes from New Zealand. Uh, they come from the flowers of the manuka tree. These are the flowers. There's a traditional Maori way of eating food. It's called the hangi. And what they do with the hangi is they put food in baskets or cover it in leaf and then they put it underground and cover it with uh, stones in the soil and the ground is very hot and that's how the uh, food becomes cooked. 
this is the traditional flower of New Zealand. It's called a kawaii. It's yellow flowers that dangle from the trees. Uh, New Zealand also has a special sport. It's called rugby. Mm -hmm. This is the rugby ball. Mm -hmm. uh, it's similar to football, the American football. Do, yeah. you, do you recognize it? Yes. Yeah. And New Zealand has a very famous rugby team. It's mm -hmm. called the All Black. They're famous for doing the Hakka war dance. Um, it's a war dance, a traditional dance from the Maori people. There are a few uh, animals in New Zealand, but New Zealand is very famous for their kiwi birds. It has a beak, it has furs, but they have very small wings, so they cannot fly, mm -hmm. and they're called one Flights. of the flightless birds, yes. Their eggs are usually slightly bigger than um, their right. body size, mm -hmm. so their eggs are um, big. big compared to their body. This is the merino sheep. Uh, the merino sheep are very famous in New Zealand. They're usually used for wool and they're usually found in the South Islands. I'm sure you know what this is. Do you know what this is? It's the Hobbit House. Yes, this, this is the Hobbiton movie set for the Shire, for the famous the Lord, uh, of, the Ring uh, yes, movie. Lord of the Ring movie. This set is open for tourists and the tourists can go inside the house. New Zealand is also famous for their landscapes. Um, one of these landscapes is in Waikato. In Waikato you can see the Glowworm Cave or you can canoe outside. Mm -hmm. uh, and in New Zealand there's also a glacier. This one is very famous. It's the Jose France Glacier. Mm -hmm. okay. So Ari, today we've made a trip to New Zealand. There are many other country folders on the shelf and you are free to see, use them anytime you wish. Okay. If you'd like to know more about the pictures that you see, there's a description written on the back side of the cards. Okay. Thank you.